I think I, I don't remember saying that or Nathan saying that, but I, I don't know that I would make it that complicated. So an evaluate question is just like all other questions that you could probably group under the problem category or the flaw category, not to confuse that with um, flaw questions, but necessary assumption, sufficient assumption, flaw, weaken, strengthen, and then evaluate, which is not as common, but evaluate questions. All six of those question types, you're gonna be given an argument and the argument is gonna be flawed. And so goal right. one is just read the argument, understand what it's saying and what's wrong with it. And then in an evaluate question, you're really looking for an answer choice that could either strengthen and weaken, I don't know why I said either. I mean, it's it's one or the other, it's, it's actually both. So it, the correct answer is gonna be something that could strengthen or weaken depending on the answer to that, that answer choice. I, I know it's confusing. Um, it's like, they don't actually give you facts in the five answer choices. Instead, they give you like, would you like to know about this or would you like to know about that? And so you yeah. don't actually know what they're going to tell you, but if depending on what way that went, it could really help or it could really hurt the argument. So that information right. is very valuable in va evaluating the argument because depending on the outcome, that would make you agree or disagree with the conclusion. Right. Well, Nathan mentioned that like, for for this one was on like sea turtles on pret test uh, sixty five. Yeah, he said it was like the sea turtles whether or not they can come back home by smelling, like they use smell to memorize their birthplace. Okay, Nathan said that like one like assumption that the author made was that the sea turtles can smell their birthplace, like they can smell when they hatch out of their egg, and so that yeah. was an assumption. So one question was like can sea turtles actually smell the place of their birth? And, and, and they mm -hmm. claim that like, if the answer is yes, that makes the assumption that the author made explicit. So that sh her helps the argument. But if the answer is no, that kills the argument completely. And so that's yeah. why you saw go after a necessary assumption, like attack a necessary assumption or like, you know. I mean, okay, so a necessary assumption that an argument is making is a potential weakness, right? Because one, it's an yes. assumption. Um, and two, I mean, by definition, it's not stated in the argument. And so bringing that to light could help or hurt the argument. Um, I mean, I don't know that I would specifically go after necessary assumptions. I would just look for anything that's flawed about the argument, whether it's necessary or sufficient or whatever. And you want to ask a question that like attacks the weakness so that like if you get a yes or no that that creates a disparity between like strengthening the argument versus weakening it yeah well at the end of the day the correct answer is going to be one in which if it goes one way you're going to feel better about the argument and if it goes the other way you're going to feel worse right and so so you're saying like if i attack like a weakness in the argument then like if if it, if the answer goes one way, that will like help help the weak. But if it goes the other way, it will like really like kill it or like hurt it badly. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Yeah.